hello friends welcome to coding simplified in today's tutorial we'll see about the bitwise operators used in java so mainly we have these bitwise operators which you can see which is bitwise left shift operator then signed right shift operator then zero fill right shift operator so uh, we represent left shift operator by this then right shift operator by this and then zero fill right shift operator by this then we have bitwise end operator then bitwise or operator then xor and then not operator so we'll go through them one by one so starting from the left shift operator so let's assume we have a value uh, a equals to 2 and it is saying that a equals to a left shift operator by 4 and then if we print this value so let's say a so friends what is the concept here like is integer so bitwise operators mainly play in bits so whatever the number is we first define in in bits and then we shift right so we can uh, say it, uh, like suppose this a so h2 in integer we can define a is like this because a integer is 32 bit right so these all are the bits so we have represented like 8 8 8 and 8 32 bits so if we change 2 to the bit values so it will represent like this with the ending 10 so now it is saying that we need to shift this by 2 and which is left shift so if we shift value left means this side right so if you you can see the starting for shift for value 0, 0, 1, 0 now have come to here because we have shifted from 4 0, 0, 1, 0, and then we have added 0, zeros. so now if we calculate this bit values in the value then it will be 32 right so if we run this program so it will give me 32 so i think you have understand this logic so this was the logic but if our value is in negative then it is little bit difficult so the logic behind is this okay let me check this okay So the logic is now a is in negative right and we are shifting again by 4 so first we change the value to the 2's complement and then we shift the value and then again we change to the 2's complement to get the original value so this is how we calculate the bitwise left shift of the negative value so as you can see if we change this minus 2 to the in bit value so it will be like this a equals to 1 0 0 0 and then ending with 1 0 so this is the negative value now first we calculate the ones complement so ones complement we calculate by inverting the values right so this is how we calculate and then we get the twos complement by adding one so this is our twos complement right and now we will shift by four so as you can see this is triple one zero now it has come here like the same way okay and now again we need to change it to because this is result okay this is our result but again we need to change in a twos complement so first take the first uh, ones complement by inverting the values and then add plus one and you will get the two's complement so if you calculate this value this is minus 32 right so if you run this program this will give me output minus 32 right so this was about the left shift operator okay and now we will see the right shift operator so let's assume let's take a so a equal to 32 right and now we are shifting a to the 4 okay let me show you 
द लॉजिक बिहाइंड इट ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी डू दिस लेट्स इंट ए इक्वल टू थर्टी टू एंड वी आर शिफ्टिंग बाय वी आर डूइंग राइट शिफ्ट सो वी कैन डिफाइन थर्टी टू लाइक दिस जीरो जीरो वन जीरो एंड जीरो एंड इफ यू शिफ्ट द राइट शिफ्ट सो यू कैन सी दैट दीज फोर वैल्यूज हैव कम टू दिस प्लेस बाय शिफ्टिंग सो नाउ दिस इज वॉट दिस इज टू राइट सो इफ यू रन दिस प्रोग्राम so if you run this program then this will give me 2 so if we can see the pattern here then we can say that whenever you are doing left shift then you are multiplying by 2 raised to power n right and if you are doing right shift then you are dividing by 2 raised to power n right because here it's 32 so you are dividing by 2 raised to power n which is 2 raised to power 4 which is 16 so answer is 2 in earlier when a was 2 and we are we were doing shift uh, left shift by 4 so we were multiplying by 16 into 2 so which was answer was 32 okay so this is how we can calculate directly that multiply by 2 raised to power n and in this case divide by 2 raised to power n so for the negative values also suppose this is negative value so the same procedure will follow which we have followed for the uh, negative values of left shift operator right so if you run this program so output will be minus 2 so the logic is the same right okay and now we'll see the zero fill right shift operator okay so again if i do like this and check the output so output will be 2 so basically for the for the positive values there is no difference between these two so both these and both this and this one are the same for the positive values but when it is negative value then you can see the difference so the output is in positive value but earlier when you were doing only the right shift operator so output was in negative minus 2 so the difference here is that when you are doing right shift in this case when you are doing right shift in right shift operator which is signed right shift operator and then it takes the values at the starting the in the form of 1 but when you are doing zero fill operator then so zero fill operator and then it fills the values at the starting by zero zeros so that's why we get the values in the positive we get the positive values but in the other case we get the values in negative so this is how there is difference between signed right shift and the zero fill right shift okay and now we'll go to bitwise and operator so suppose we have we have e equals to 2 and uh, okay let's do this like this way suppose we are calculating 2 and and 3 okay and we we want to check the output okay so what we do first we change first we change the values in the bits and then we calculate accordingly to the operator so here it is end so as you know if you change the two so that will be we are taking only the last four values so this will be four and if you check the three so that will be one one and if you end them so the result will be 00 um, 001 and 0 right so the that is actually 2 so that's why we have get output equals to 2 so this was about and and if you say it over operator so again we change it to bits and then we over them so if so you can see the output will be 1 here and this is actually 3 so if you run this program you will get 3 and if you do or sorry xor okay this is the operator so you can say this is 000 0001 okay 
वन वन एक्चुअली अगेन जीरो एंड दिस इज वन जीरो वन सो दिस इज बेसिकली बेसिकली वन सॉरी सो दिस इज हाउ वी डू द एक्सो एंड सिमिलरली यू कैन डू द नॉट ऑपरेटर सो अगेन वेन यू डू नॉट देन देर इज सिमिलर फंडा बिकॉज यू आर डूइंग नॉट विच इज सो फर्स्ट यू चेंज दिस इन द बिट्स एंड देन यू चेंज इट टू टूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट so this is this is how you get the value of not operator so if you run this program you will get the values in negative because first you calculate first you change it to ones complement and then you change into twos complement so that's why we get values in the negative so friends this was all about the bitwise operators 